The year 2013 will mark the centenary of the Natives Land Act of 1913, which took away 87% of the land from the African people. Never, never and it's me at this beautiful world and again a spirit of one of us. Land is an emotional issue in South Africa. Throughout our history, communities have fought for it and have had to negotiate for it. In 1994, a negotiated settlement paved the way for every South African to have an equal opportunity to own land. The ANC's land reform project, which was started in 1998, must surely be one of the most expensive and cost inefficient actions to date. Process is slow and tedious and there is general agreement that the willing buyer, willing seller option has not been the best way to address this question. Put simply, the Green Paper on Land Reform aims to nationalize your right to purchase, manage and sell land. The Green Paper will achieve this by a drastic restriction of landowners' rights, direct interference in the management of your land, to abolish independent valuations of your land. With this legislation, the state will have the power to cancel your title deed, confiscate your land if the state believes it to have been acquired unlawfully, prosecute at its own discretion, grant amnesty at the state's own discretion. Ultimately, the state will own all land. Let's assume the green paper becomes law. Then the state would have more control over land. What it means for a landowner is that the state could directly interfere in the management of its property. Should a landowner resist, he could be prosecuted. If the property is invaded, the state could grant amnesty to the land grabbers. If the landowner is successfully prosecuted, the state would then have the right to cancel his title deed or to confiscate his land. The danger of the green paper lies in that it allows the ANC to restrict your land rights and then to take possession of your property. It is slower and more cunning than the Zimbabwean land grabs, but it would be as drastic. This legislation is not only limited to agricultural land or farmers, but will affect every South African's rights. It is difficult to view the green paper as anything less than a document of racial mobilization against our crimes. The state must realize the restitution of land rights for those who were dispossessed. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission, the TRC, has adequately demonstrated the capacity and political will of black people in general and the African majority in particular to forgive. But this goodwill should not be taken for granted because it is not an inexhaustible social asset. That is the spirit of this draft Green Paper. Let there be no doubt. The Green Paper is a blatant contravention of every democratic principle. It threatens the freedom of every South African. We must stop the Green Paper. Thank <laughs> you.